Well, the Anchorage man who ran a Ponzi-like scheme on scores of Alaskans changed his plea this afternoon in federal court. And best key reporter Mike Mason has been covering the story for months and has the story. Yeah, Rebecca, Garrett Elder told a federal judge this afternoon that he was guilty of the charge of wire fraud. The judge moved the case to the largest courtroom because of the expected crowd, and dozens of people showed up with a vested interest in this case. Garrett Elder and his attorney walk into the federal courthouse together for a change of plea hearing. Can you tell us how it feels to build these people out of so much money? Uh, no comment. Thank you. Okay. Are you going to have a, a statement for all of the uh, victims? I already said no comment. Thank you. Have a good day. The United States Department of Justice and the Alaska Division of Banking and Securities both said that 30-year-old elder bilked well over 100 investors out of millions of dollars between 2016 and 2022. Elder ran two businesses from a location on Old Seward Highway. They were called Tycoon Trading and Daily Bread Fund. Through his companies, authorities say Elder took 30 to $34 million from approximately 140 investors, and he allegedly lost about $25 million of that money. Most of his victims are from here in Alaska. As part of the plea deal Elder signed, he agreed to forfeit 37 acres of land, a Ford F-350, a camper trailer, a boat, interest in multiple LLCs, and money in nine bank and brokerage accounts. During the time Elder was running his investment scam, authorities say he was providing victims with fraudulent statements indicating their investments had earned significant profits. At the hearing, four of Elder's alleged victims addressed the court, expressing contempt for what they felt was a minimal sentencing recommendation by the prosecutor. Okay, you talked about how you could have used the money for your sick son. That is correct. Tell me about that. Um, he's an adult, but he has uh, what would be considered Becker's muscular dystrophy, and it is a deteriorative ge uh, genetic deteriorative muscle disease. And you could have used your money towards that? That was the plan. And how much money are we talking about? In total, $1.4 million. So you're not too happy? No, he's, he stole 85 years worth of my wife and I's labor. Uh, had he not been there, or, or, or better worded, our most recent document from him indicated that our retirement could start and we would make $900,000 a year from that. Would you be happy if, yeah. if this guy took everything uh, and just squandered it? Elder's formal sentencing is expected in about 90 days from now. Prosecutors tell us they will recommend that he receives 87 months or just over seven years in federal prison. The maximum sentence was 20 years. Elder was also ordered to pay victims restitution in the amount of 24 to $27 million, but it's not likely he'll be able to pay back anything close to that full amount. We'll, of course, keep you updated.